Welcome back. I am Adhumar Patkar and we are talking about modal corrosion. In this lecture, we are going to talk about mechanisms of electrochemical corrosion. Electrochemical corrosion involves flow of electron current between anodic and cathodic areas. The anodic reaction involves dissolution of metal as corresponding metallic ions with the liberation of free electrons. Always remember on the anode the reaction that will take place that is the oxidation where metal gained into the solution by dissolution. Depending upon the corresponding environment the cathodic reaction consumes electrons either by evolution of hydrogen or absorption of oxygen. So depend upon the reaction on the cathode. There are two mechanisms suggested one that is evolution of hydrogen and second that is absorption of oxygen that we are going to study in this particular lecture. So let's first talk about evolution of hydrogen type of mechanism. In electrochemical corrosion, evolution of hydrogen type of mechanism may take place in acidic solution. Let's assume this one is the metal and on the surface of the metal there is some impurity present that may be like dust particles accumulated on the surface of the metal or other metal part may be there. And this part of the metal is in contact with the acidic solution or acidic electrolyte solution. Now in this case, metal which is in contact with the electrolyte solution will behave as anode and metal which is not directly in contact with the solution will behave as cathode. So the reaction taking place because of formation of anodic and cathodic areas on the metal surface. And why this anodic and cathodic areas are forming are uh, because of uneven chemical surface. Metal which is directly in contact with the electron electrolyte solution will always behave as anode. Remember this metal which is directly in contact with the electrolyte solution will behave as anode and metal which is not in contact with the electrolyte solution in this case it is because of impurity present on the surface that small part will behave as cathode and as I told you on the anodic area the dissolution of metal takes place where metal which is in solid form will get converted to liquid form by dissolution method where in this case suppose this one is the iron metal in that case iron will get dissolved by forming iron 2 plus ions into the solution and on anodic areas metal will get dissolved by forming its ions and will go into the solution by giving two electrons and these electrons will be transferred from anodic area to cathodic area through the metal and on the cathodic area the electrons will be captured by this H plus ions from the surrounding electrolyte as this one is the acidic solution 
this acidic solution contains the H plus ions. So this H plus ions on the cathodic area will accept these two electrons to give hydrogen gas. So hydrogen gas will be bubbled on the cathodic areas and on anodic part metal will get dissolved. The whole reaction we can note down as Fe plus 2H plus gives Fe2 plus ions into the solution and hydrogen gas will be bubbled out continuously on the cathodic region. If you check the electrochemical series, metals present above the hydrogen in the electrochemical series will have tendency to get corroded by evolution of hydrogen. This is the possible question on the mechanism. What are the necessary conditions for electrochemical corrosion? Give the mechanism of electrochemical corrosion in acidic medium with diagram and electrode reactions. If this question is for five marks, which points you need to write? I just mentioned here. What are the different necessary conditions for electrochemical corrosion? You have to draw a neat label diagram and explain the mechanisms with the anodic and cathodic reactions. Now let's talk about this absorption of oxygen mechanism. Consider this is the metal piece and to protect this metal we coated this with the oxide film, metal oxide layer and suppose this coating is bricked at this area where metal is exposing to the surrounding aqueous medium. Now in this case this aqueous medium is neutral solution. In the previous case this aqueous solution was acidic in this case this is neutral solution now in case of this neutral solution this absorption of oxygen type of mechanism may take place so this metal is in directly contact with the electrolyte solution through this small area and as we discussed earlier the metal waste part which is directly in contact with the surrounding electrolyte solution will always behave as anode and the rest of the part will behave as cathode. Now in this case this smaller part of the metal which is in directly contact with the electrolyte solution will behave as anode and the larger part which is coated with the oxide film hence not directly in contact with the electrolyte solution will behave as cathode. Now as you know on the anodic region always oxidation reaction takes place and oxidation that means metal is dissolving into the solution. In this case iron gives if we 2 plus ions into the solution by giving 2 electrons and these two electrons will be transferred towards the cathodic region through the metal and on the cathode the reduction reaction takes place. Now the metal cannot be further reduced so dissolved oxygen present in the surrounding electrolyte solution will capture these two electrons to give two OH minus ions. The whole reaction can be written as half of oxygen plus water plus two electrons gives two OH minus ions. So as you can observe on the anodic area if you two plus ions are releasing into the solution and on cathodic region 
two OH minus ions are releasing in the solution. And this cations and anions from anode and cathode respectively diffuses into the solution to give the reaction that will produce the ferrous hydroxide product and this ferrous hydroxide will get deposited somewhere in between the anode and cathode that what we call the rust and if enough amount of oxygen is present in the aqueous solution then this ferrous hydroxide may get converted to ferric hydroxide the more stable product that what we call yellow rust so these are the two mechanisms for electrochemical corrosion by which the electrochemical corrosion takes place by forming a cells electrochemical cells on the metal surface question on the second mechanism can be asked as like this explain the red corrosion in neutral medium with schematic diagram and mechanism so you need to draw the diagram and explain the mechanism with the anodic and cathodic reaction and whole cell reaction hope you understand these two mechanisms of electrochemical corrosion remember on anode there is always dissolution of metal text plus that is nothing but the corrosion or oxidation reaction on cathode there will be always reduction reaction and by either evolution of hydrogen or absorption of oxygen thank you very much in the next lecture we will talk about five types of electrochemical corrosion See you next time.